Hi everyone, it's Erin from EB underscore Mixed Media. Uh, thanks for joining me here today. So I am on a mission to go through my stash and pull out things that I made ages ago and try to actually use them. And a lot of it are pre-made assemblages. I have so much trouble with that word. And um, uh, cluster, paper clusters. That's what I decided I was going to call them because I can pronounce both those words. Um, so anyway, I, this was a paper cluster uh, that I had made, gosh, well over a year ago. And just pulling papers and things from my stash and making a really cool little cluster of uh, paper that, that makes a focal point. And I want to use it. So I'm gonna try and figure out a way to work it into this journal. And this is probably my most favorite journal. It is a very cheapy little notebook that I bought, I think at Michael's, or it might've been AC Moore. I don't know if y'all have AC Moore. We had it uh, in the Portland area and it closed. I think that's where I was. And I was standing in line and they had all the, you know, how they put all that junk along the line. So while you're waiting there, you impulse buy. And that's exactly what I did. But I think it was maybe $5. It's super thin graph paper. And I just glue multiple pages together uh, to make them thicker. And I love it. And so um, I still have quite a few pages left to go. Look at how... See, when I glue them together, I'm sloppy, so the whole back end is glued together. But anyway, uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work in this one today. We're going to try to make this our focal point, and let's get started. So I'm going to start again with, I think, a palette knife. And do I want to put any collage paper down? Yeah, I do. I'm going to do that. So for this piece, I'm feeling a strong horizontal even though my cluster is is vertical, I'm feeling a need for like a horizontal paid, you know, strong horizontal line across this way. So, um, I'm gonna start with this stuff. Look, check this out. I've never seen such a great design on a security envelope. It almost looks like Celtic, um, you know, Book of Kells kind of stuff here. Super neat. So let's tear up some of that, yeah? And I'm just gonna use glue stick. You could use um, matte medium or gel medium or something like that if you wanted to. I'm not going right smack in the middle of the page. I'm going down so it's not uh, totally centered. This is some fun math paper with lots of equations on it, which is fun, numbers. And I don't know what, oh, do I want that side instead? Hmm, now we'll go with this one. See what else, what else, what else do I have? I thought this chain would be fun. This is from a stamp I made, but I thought that's a very strong line there on a book page. I think that's kind of cool. Actually, maybe I want not that edge. Maybe I want another just a torn edge, make it narrow. Kind of like that. How do you like them apples? My mom used to say that. <laughs> All right. Don't overthink. Don't overthink. Don't overthink.
Let's put this going here too, just for the crack, as we used to say in Ireland. Yeah, yeah, why not? Probably all get covered up, but that's okay. Actually, a lot of it's gonna get covered up, isn't it? Which is sort of waste of very cool paper. So let's do this, yeah? Uh -huh. Oh, she's smart. Okay. Now, a little bit of gesso to kind of soften the edges of these pages, of the pages that we just put down, right? And blend them in so that they don't just look like they're sitting on the page. They look like they're part of your piece. That's the point of the gesso on this, is it makes it all look like it's part of a piece and not just glued down. And you can be pretty sparse with it. It doesn't have to be a lot. And I like with this graph paper how the graph paper shows through. And there's some schmutz there. Oh, it's just glue. Okay. <laughs> I want something else here. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Oh, yeah. Where's that piece? I had another piece somewhere. Is this? Do you, how much time do you spend doing this? And you never, ever, ever find it, and then there it is. You know, like two seconds later, it suddenly appears where it absolutely was not before. So yeah probably two thirds of my time <laughs> is where did that piece go? But I just had it. Is it on the floor? No. Is it under my book? No. It's And then it's just sitting there right in front of your face. It's always right in front of your face. Now I'm making a mess of this, but that's okay. Yeah, tell me in the comments how often you are, how much time, what percentage of your session is spent looking for something you just had in your hand. I'm curious. Okay, I want to start pulling in some colors that are in this assemblage, assemblage, paper cluster. So, that might be too strong. I'm going to get some water and kind of soften that a bit. Oh, gosh, that's beautiful. But I'm telling you, I can't get over. This is my most favorite color in the whole world. It just makes everything better. Somehow something that was me becomes magical. I think as it kind of glows, maybe. And I don't know. Put a little more weight here. I'm a little darker at the bottom. It gives some weight, maybe. Yeah. All right. What else do we have going on here? I've got some kind of turquoise, but it's certainly not that bright. I don't know, that almost looks too green now. That's a little better. I 
of course, any blue you put in on top of this gold is going to be green. It just is. It's going to turn green. I like how that's going. I need some navy. So I said I needed navy. What I've got here is my Prussian blue hue, which is a beautiful color. This is golden fluid acrylic. It's not the high flow like these, but it's um, more fluid, definitely, as you can see. All right, I don't want that full strength, but because you can see, isn't that strong and pretty? I don't know. I'll just keep mixing until I get something that I like. I'm just going to put a tab and see. I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't. I'm kind of thinking maybe, ooh, maybe I do want darker. Oh, maybe I do need that dark. Oh, doesn't that look kind of moody and pretty? Almost like a storm cloud gathering or something. Mixed it in there. Maybe a little more. I know I said I liked that, but now I'm <laughs> covering it up. No, I'm going to put it back in. I just wanted a little more white. how that's looking. I got five blobs of the dark, which makes me happy. Odd number. Okay, I really like how this is shaping up. Um, I want to do some scribbly journal writing. I just need to find my black pen to do that. Did we not just have this conversation? We did, didn't we? How much time do you spend looking for something you just had in your hand. There it is. I wanna do that. Oh, and I also wanna do, uh, take my sp Stabilo All. This is a famous trick of mine that I really like. And as I said, I, I really like this strong horizontal here, but I also like this vertical going on. I think this is called cru cruciform. Uh, composition. Gosh, couldn't find that word. Okay, that's good enough. And I'm going to do some scribbly writing here. And oftentimes, I sometimes I actually do journal. Oftentimes I just um, think of a song I like that I kind of have in my head and write the lyrics to that.
All right, I think I'm ready for my assemblage. Now, if I had some art glitter glue, that's what I would use to put this down. This is really stiff. The page is curved. It's gonna buckle. This is gonna be a bit of a hassle. I'm gonna try it with a glue stick. If that doesn't work, I'll go get some gel medium. But let's try it with a glue stick first. I don't hold out a lot of hope that this is gonna work, but we shall see. I'm gonna cover up this, I don't like it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go all the way over there. And I'm gonna get my tissue paper and I'm just gonna smash this down and I'm gonna hold it. And we'll see if it's enough. I'm happy with this, but I feel like I want some splatters. So I'm gonna go grab my black and do that. Probably way more than I needed. splatters on my I feel like I kind of only want it you know maybe I ah <gasps> oh, shoot did that just happen I'll see if I can Do I want to fix it or leave it? Will I make it worse? Oh, you know what's great about it is that is a paint chip, that orange, and it's got a kind of shiny coat of whatever paint on it. Um, so that made that wipe off really easily. All right, I think I'm gonna call this done. I, I'm clearly gonna have to get some better glue here in the corner. Otherwise that's gonna continue to buckle and probably in these two spots here. But otherwise, um, I think it's finished and I like how it turned out. And I'm so pleased that I got to take this uh, paper cluster, this assemblage that I've had in my stash for ages and really liked um, and incorporate it into a journal page. So thanks for joining me today. I uh, hope to see you back here soon. You can also find me at eb underscore mixed media on Instagram. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.